Well, Rory, I think we're going to have to postpone that funeral. Uh, <laughs> that was going to hold for offer sheets. It happened. We got one. We got one. <laughs> and it is a big one. Yes. It is uh, Sebastian Ajo getting offer sheeted by the Montreal Canadiens to a five-year deal. Mm -hmm. uh, your initial thoughts to this thing that we never thought would happen ever. So I think we assumed that if the offer sheet was going to happen, it was going to be an a AAV that was super high, right? Like that was 10, unmatchable. Million dollars, maybe it's the four first-round picks so that that would make it hard for the team to match. Right. Not so in nope. this case. So it's about $8.4 million AAV, which seems kind of low. This offer sheet is not about the AAV, though. What no. makes it hard, or at least puts it into question whether or not the uh, Hurricanes match or not, is the signing bonuses. Max signing bonuses for Sebastian Ajo. He's going to be owed, I believe it's $21 million in the first calendar year. Yes. That's the decision. So the comparable here, you think back to Shea Weber's offer sheet that he signed with the Philadelphia Flyers a few years ago, 14 year, $110 million. If I remember correctly, $80 million of that was due in the first six seasons. So similar thing, loaded up on signing bonuses designed to make a smaller market team think hard about it because of the upfront money that they had to pay. I have a couple thoughts here because mm -hmm. it's awesome in that it is absolutely maximum chaos. Yep. But already earlier this week, I had someone telling me that, you know, every now and then I complain that there's going to be a lockout. And I go, please <laughs> let there not be a lockout. Yeah. And what they said was a big point of contention is going to be these deals that are nothing but signing bonus. Yep. If it's a UFA, I think it's a bit of a different story. But this is this is taking a player from another team, Yes. right? Yeah. So this deal, if Carolina chooses not to match it because they can't, mm -hmm. I worry that it could be something that has us watching less hockey. Potentially. I mean, th this is going to help the players, right? I mean, there was some kind of a knock on this free agent class, the fact that the, the NHLPA didn't maximize the escalator like, in, in this year, right? It right. wasn't a great year to be a UFA. But in this case, for the RFA, Ajo is able to take advantage of the signing bonuses to kind of load it up. And, and, and the return here, if, if Carolina doesn't match this, it's not multiple first round picks. The Habs just kept it below that threshold, so it's a first, second, and a third. You don't have to give up the, that monster That makes it even return. worse. That makes that it even worse. I have to think, because even Nashville match that Shea Weber offer sheet. I have to think this is a match for Tom Dundon and the Hurricanes, don't you? Don't you, you think it is? You are thinking with your head. Yeah. <laughs> the Carolina Hurricane have an, uh, have an owner mm -hmm. who's a little bit nuts. Yes. In yep. Tom Dundon. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, maybe he's got some cash left over from whatever it was with that football league yep. that happened and then no longer happened. Yep. So maybe he can afford it, but this guy's a little bit wacky. I, after his comment though, Remember he said we d we only want to draft forwards? Yep. There's no way he lets this guy go. I don't think so. And when he first got there to Carolina, remember, they were going to go through some change, make some trades and change that roster over. Aho was a guy that Dundon said he loved and didn't want to move. So now you're faced with the actual situation. How much do you really want to keep this player? Because you're going to have to back it up with actual dollars now. And, and this was Bergevin, you know, what's he up to? Yep. Using the full might of the Montreal Canadiens and also his work. Montreal Canadiens haven't been spending to the cap. They have all this money to spend. This past season, they had, or in the last two seasons, I can't remember which it was, they've had 21 draft picks. Unbelievable. They had a killer draft in getting Cole Caulfield, yep. Cook and Iemi, they were lucky to get. This is perfect. Yep. This is their moment to strike, and they did it. Now the Hurricanes have a week to match. I have two questions about follow-up to this. If Carolina matches this for Montreal, does Montreal then go and try and offer sheet somebody else on the market to do it? And what does this mean for the Mitch Marners and Patrick Lyonies of the world when a center, one of the two best centers on the RFA market, signs for an AAV that's below 8.5? I mean, who's the next domino to fall? If, if that player signs for 8.5 or something similar, what does that mean for Kachuk and Line and Marner? I mean, that their market is no longer, you would think, $11, $10 million. I, I think that during negotiations, they can maybe use this, though. Yep. And go see. It's for signing bonus. I'm door number two. Yep. You got to convince them you're door number two. Uh, we'll see what happens. Who knows? Maybe they match by the time this video is posted. I guess we'll find out. That is it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Click like if you like this video. Click subscribe if you really liked it. And win the Stanley Cup? No! Again! <laughs>